In 1985, Ballard and a team of oceanographers found the world's most famous shipwreck two miles underwater. When we first came across the uh, Titanic, we had no idea what we were going to see. From the submersible Alvin, Ballard was the first man to describe what looked like orange icicles that grew on the Titanic in the 75 years since the luxury liner sank. The ship is, is sort of slowly bleeding to death, and it forms these incredible uh, stalactites and stalagmites. Uh, and uh, it's, 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 it's haunting when you come across the ship and you see it festoon in these rusticles. My goal was that my children and, and my children's children could visit the Titanic and see it exactly the same way that I saw it. A commander in the Navy Reserve, Ballard is also a military historian. He discovered the wreckage of the Nazi German battleship Bismarck, and he's discovered the wreckage of U.S. warships sunk in the Battle of Guadalcanal. For our civilian population, he sees more of us in the future moving out to sea. Well, the ocean is really the most important frontier of exploration to the human race right now. Uh, we only live on 19% of the Earth, and I can't help but think that uh, the continuing growth of the world's population as it continues to explode, that you're going to find people moving out onto and beneath the ocean. And Ballard is hopeful that other scientists and robots will protect the treasures that lie underwater. The explorer says our oceans contain more history preserved than all the museums on land. And we're just now beginning to discover the pyramids of the deep, and, and I just hope that we go through that door of technology to appreciate and not to plunder, but the jury's still out. Pat Gaffey, News 8.